What's up guys? Today we are starting season two of Breaking Bad. So last episode, Walt promised Tuco that they could make like four pounds of crystal and they were gonna make it in like the little RV thingy that they bought, but it wouldn't start or anything. So they chose to cook it in Jesse's basement. And mind you, Jesse was selling his house and it was in the middle of like an open house and they were doing that shit. And I was stressed out the entire time. It was still kind of funny though. But at the end of the episode, what happened at the end, I was just gonna say it and my mind blanked. <sighs> Fuck, my mind just blanked. At the end of the episode, Tuco ended up like beating someone to death or like not to death, but like beating someone up really bad and they just seemed like totally stunned by it and yeah so now they're like in a business deal with Tuco and I'm guessing maybe the season is just gonna like start off from there or maybe there's gonna be a little time jump like I doubt there will be but we'll see so let's get into the episode Did I click on the right show? Because the show is not in black and white, and that's an eyeball. Good state college, adjusting for inflation. Say $45,000 a year, two kids, four years of college, $360,000. He's really calculating that shit right now. And always in a public place from now on. It's doable. Definitely doable. I have, a fa I have a feeling that it's gonna go on longer than those 10 weeks. Who the fuck is that? He's back, what the fuck? What the hell, what's wrong with him? What's the matter with you? You can't take an ass baby, bitch! What do you expect him to do? He's not a freaking doctor. He's like a chemist. He knows chemist stuff. Mouth. No, they don't teach that anymore. It doesn't work. You! Come here! Breathe into his mouth! You breathe into his mouth, bitch. Like, stop giving orders. He's foaming at the mouth. Why? Like, does that happen when you get beat to death? Or was he given some of the crystal? I don't know. I don't think he was. And for what? For what? Just to be a bitch? He got anger issues and he just likes picking on people. Hey, I'm back here! Hello? Is he like trying to hide the money first or something? He's still, like, really shocked about it. Poor Walt. But it's like, how is he gonna explain that he's sad, though? Like, is he straight up just gonna tell her? Enough. Um, 
what's what's happening Walt what's happening um no no apology no nothing but you cannot take it out on me And then he's still not going to say a word. That was slick, not going to lie. I'm guessing for protection. I was about to say, like, is it because of Walt? But no, it's like because of the shit that's been happening to him. He got his ass beat, and now. Conjecture? Are you basing that all that he's got like a normal, healthy brain or something? Did you not see him beat a dude to death for like nothing? He's kind of cray cray, you know? He has problems. And now y'all think he's trying to kill you after y'all are doing business? It is him or us. You understand? It is him or us. So they want to kill him first before they can kill them. But it's like, what if he's actually not trying to kill you? Now, every time we bring in a new batch, he always tests the product, right? So as his head is down, you know, giving it a snort, just pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. <sighs> now, is there anyone else there? I mean, Tuco is usually with someone else, right? Maybe even a couple of guys, his, his dealers, his posse. He's trying to think things through. Trying to say that it's a not too good of a plan yet. Low, right? How many bullets does that gun even take? Um, let me see. It's not... I thought it was about to go off. Okay. Tonight. So let me know if you guys want to hang. Listen to me. Hang. Well, Junior will be proud. I know the lingo. So is she trying to act normal even though she got accused for stealing that shit? Hank, I said I would do them and I'm doing them. I can't help it if you got your days of the week wrong. My sessions for what? And that kid looks so familiar. If it would just give me a closer shot of his face. Knew it. Knew she was gonna do that. Sorry about that. Is that the dude from that show? That's also on Netflix called, like, My Dead Ex. I think it is. You know Southwest Aniline, right? Yeah, off the 25. The place smells like feet. This is them. Check this out. Holy shit, what was that? They're on camera. <sighs> so these two make do by changing up the formula. That and the thermite. I'd say these two know the chemistry. One of them knows the chemistry. So they're staying by his house too, so now it's not just Jesse. Maybe they are trying to kill you, I don't know. Your daughter wants out. <laughs> I guess that just like kept him up all night. I mean, it might keep me up too. Like, that shit's creepy. 
castor beans. So what are we gonna do with them? Are we just gonna grow a magic beanstalk? Huh? <laughs> Tiny pellet into the man's leg, and we're talking about an amount not much bigger than the head of a pin. But it, it killed him. Oh yes. From a bean, bro. Like. Who's who's that? <gasps> Are they looking upon their house? Oh, that's just. The other dude, okay. Maybe, um, we got... You wanna, you wanna sit down first? Where is she gonna go with this? But if you could do me this huge favor and just return her phone calls. I don't... <clears throat> I think I'm quite ready to do that yet. Oh, yeah. She literally... She literally gaslit her into believing that she didn't steal something. She stole it from Gertrude Zachary's. Yeah. I almost got arrested when I went back to return it. And um, he doesn't he doesn't know any of it, so how is how's he gonna react? If I thought you were gonna return it, I would have never you know. He knew? What? You've got to be understanding, you know? I mean, we got to, you know, we got to support the shit out of her. Oh. Do we? Yeah. I need support. Who somehow always manages to be the center of attention, because God knows she's the one with the really important problems. You know, I really do feel bad. And right now, she's she's kind of going up on my list of characters. But maybe it's just the moment, but... What kind of hug is that? <laughs> He's like barely touching her and it's like... I'll hit my usual four pounds and I'm gonna pull this out. By the way, Tuco, it's a new meth formula we've been working on. Would you care to? That's, that's smart, but. I apologize in advance for the earful you can hear from Skylar. I was just trying to get her and Marie talking again. Big mistake. I should have just kept out of it. Yeah, well, uh oh. Oh, I thought he was like in front of his house with police and like something caught on fire and something happened to Skylar or something. I think it's gonna have to do with the people that they were going after. Guess it could be worse, huh? You could be having a day like these two. Uh, wait, is it both of them? So they found, they found where Tuco's dude was, and I think the other dude was there too. Don't, not if you leave town. Get out of here. Tuco killing Gonzo means he's coming after us next time. I've got to get home. My family. I can't believe he also killed the other guy. And it's like, for what? Like, the other dude didn't even do anything that, well, we didn't see. So maybe he said something else. Walter Jr.? Are they asleep? Like... I'm guessing they are, because it seems to be nighttime. Maybe it's really late. Today I've had the whole house to myself. So where have you been this time? He straight up just left. That's probably gonna be like the worst hiding spot because it's like y'all don't even have the baby yet so why would it be open? Oh snap! 
Damn, Ricky, leave something for the coroner. Ew. Crushed his arm, pinned him here, and he, uh, he bled out. Poetic justice. Oh, I love it. Don't you just. Oh, I thought it was just set up the other way. It really seems like he was about to tell her, but now someone's there. It's just Jesse. Doing here. Get in. Oh. He straight up has to leave Skyler. But where are they gonna go? That's how you're gonna end the fucking episode. Are you kidding me, bro? So it's like, what now? Why is Truco going after them? Because literally, if it's like the other people say like that the other dude's body was Tuco didn't kill him. He died on accident. But then again, he could have made it look like a suicide or something. I don't know. So now he's really after them. I thought that they were just doing business. They were just doing business. And then it's like, now Walt and Skyler are having problems. Like, they were already having problems. But it's like, now I'm kind of like feeling bad for her. Because she had the whole house to herself the whole day. And they could have some time spent together. But Walt was gone. But he was also making money for his family. It's just a whole thing. Like. Other dude has freaking anger issues. And thinking back to like one of the scenes earlier. I'm thinking about what Walt said. How did he like find out where he lived and everything. Because. If Jesse didn't tell him what Walt's actual name was, then it's like, how did he find out? And how did he find out where he lived and where Jesse lived? Did they follow them or something? I don't know. It's just like such a big scandal. And then it's like now, what's it called? Hank, the DEA people or whatever, they're after Tuco. And Tuco has Hank and Jesse, and I guess is like, making them drive to a place where they're just gonna get shot or like somehow they're gonna slip the bean and like he's gonna die but it's like you never know with this show hopefully he just dies like Tuco not anyone else just Tuco because Tuco is Tuco's crazy he's too much you say one little thing about him and he's ready to beat your ass like dude was sticking up for him you know Maybe he didn't have to, but he did, and he got his, at be his ass beat to death. <sighs> it's just a lot. But this episode wasn't that bad of, like, a start to a new season. It did, like, pick up where it left off, like, from last season. And <laughs> with how it ended, I want to see what happens with Jesse and Walt. So, I guess, come back for episode two. <laughs>